hey dolls so i'm basically doing this video to show you guys how i bleach my lace closure let's get right into it so for starters i have my lightener my bw2 and i have my pure white my developer uh and i'm basically gonna mix these two together i'm gonna try not to make this mixture liquidy uh, I was told it needs to be as thick as possible uh, so I'm gonna try I'm gonna do that and I have a little brush to mix and put onto the hair and I also have a knife to mix listen my utensils are wear because I, I'm also using a plate so it's more visible to you guys against a ball and I have my closure here so let's go so since I already had some developer that I, not, well not developer, the lightener that I was using before, that I've used some before and I have some remaining, it is also necessary to wear gloves when you using this. I had mine on and I took them off, why I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and pour what is on this onto my plate. I still believe I'll need a little bit more. So I'm going to be using some of this. FYI, this is very strong. I for one should not be inhaling too much of this either. So I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit more. Of this I'm, as a matter of fact I'm gonna use everything it might be too much but it's better to be safe than that okay so now that I've poured that and this thing is going into my nose now that I've poured let me show you because this is white, I don't know if you'll be able to see. But that's the the powder and lightener. I'm going to go in with the developer, which is the liquid. And I'm going to go as minimal as possible. I'm going to use my knife <laughs> to mix it. So that I get a thick consistency. I'm gonna go in again with a little bit more of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on to the closure. Also, I was gonna use my little brush to put it on, but I believe that because the knife is flat, I'm gonna try using it with a knife first comparing to this. Let me close these up get these out of the way and now I have my closure I'm gonna rest it on the bag it came in so that I don't mess this table up I'm just gonna pin the top so it stays in place and the aim when doing this is not to get the you guys can see as much as possible the aim when doing this is not to get the mixture onto the opposite side of the closer so here's the mixture and I'm gonna be going in guys I'm nervous about this so Is the closure put the bleach onto it and this is the opposite side leave this for about um, five to ten minutes make to make sure that the bleach gets into it uh, I'm, I'm gonna hope that it doesn't go where it's not needed and after it has taken its course I will return and show you what it looks like after I have rinsed the bleached off okay guys I'm back after 
rinse in the bleach and put in a little conditioner on the closure so this is the the weft i don't know how much of it you're able to see i could have let oops i could have let it stay a little bit longer but i didn't want it to seep through and go in the hair so i rinse it off if you you can see a little bit of the brown spots are still there but what's the most important since it's already it's already pre-part or free part or whatever they call it uh the part it came parted so the parts are well bleached so that i'm grateful for so that is if you can see my finger through it so wherever i should put my part the bleach went through there perfectly fine and what i did after rinsing the bleach off i basically uh used the what i did after rinsing the bleach off i basically used conditioner on it so that it could be smooth and nice so hopefully we will do a demo while making this wig so I'm just gonna crunch it for it to dry and I'm gonna just leave it for it to air dry I'm not gonna put any heat or anything like that on it so basically that's how I bleach my closure my closure and I'm gonna leave it now for it to air dry so see you in my next video